Rowe. Rowe? Yeah. yeah. You good, Chris? Yeah. What's up, peeps? Big Hurt TJ. Got Chris here today at Big Hurt TV, Boxing Inc. University. And today we're going to be talking about the Kovalev ward fight that went down. So I finally got a chance to watch it. And um, so, all right. I already know how Chris feels like we had this conversation I wish we had because I just know this is going to turn into something heated. But everybody who I talked to said that Ward was holding a lot. Now, I watched the fight, and I feel that Kovalev was holding as much as or more than Ward was holding. Yes, he was taken away from what Ward would do, though. Right. So no, yeah, actually, no, I got that. Yeah, you I have an understanding, that. too. Yeah. Kovalev's uh, strategy was to tie up Ward before Ward could tie him up because when Ward ties up, he hits during the tie-ups. Right. So that's why Kovalev was making sure he tied him up first so then he wouldn't get hit right. as he was getting tied up. Yeah. So I don't. I, so when I was watching the fight, I really didn't see Ward. So I kind of felt like the first video that we did, when we did the pre-fight video, we talked about um, Kovalev and his lack of mobility. And I think that that played out like almost perfectly, the way we said it was going to turn out. So Kovalev had issues with his mobility. And what he would do is he would either grab his arms, he kept grabbing them over his neck. And whenever he would grab them, he would hit him in the body. And I felt like he kept hitting him in the body, trying to keep him from being able to move later on in the fight. Because after he had knocked him out in that first, the second round, mm -hmm. which he caught him with that straight, and we knew that, that was going to be the issue for Ward. It was going to be his, those straight punches. Yeah. Um, he caught him with that straight, dropped him, Ward hopped up. I feel like that was one of the very few times that he really got on his bike. I don't think he really ran a lot. Like the running that people were saying he was doing was not really running. He was more controlling the distance, not trying to get away. But you have to remember, too, is like, so the, per the person in control of the fight was Kovalev. Yes. So Kovalev was the one consistently putting on the pressure, mm -hmm. consistently starting first. Yeah. Ward was engaging at some points, but a lot of times end up in the tie up right. mm -hmm. between Kovalev and himself. Uh, I agree. It was equally tying up yeah. with each other. Mm -hmm. So. But you gotta realize, okay, walking into the fight, who is the champion? Oh, Kovalev. Exactly. Absolutely. He has the three bouts. He's Absolutely. the best he light heavyweight. And yeah. still, in my opinion, he still is the he best still, light heavyweight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, Ward went in there, put on a good performance. Mm -hmm. Like, no one disagrees with that. Right. No one disagrees with his heart. Right. No one disagrees on the, his performance that he did because he did a good performance from yeah. even getting dropped and getting right. back up. He's still on, getting back up. And then getting in his, himself into the fight again. Because yep. I feel like he so. was coming, that fight, by the time, maybe about the ninth round, I thought that uh, Ward was taking the fight back. Yeah. I, I mean, he was he was catching him with whatever he wanted. Like, not so much whatever he wanted, but he started catching him with check hooks, which he wasn't getting any of that at the beginning of the fight. He was catching him with check hooks. He was catching him with solid. I think he was he was the more effective puncher the second half of the fight. Kovalev was just trying to, I think that Kovalev knew that his mobility was still causing this and he wasn't being able to capitalize on those body shots like he thought he was going to be able to do. Mm -hmm. um, and the mobility was causing him problems and he's trying to turn it into a slugfest. That's really what he's trying to do because he knew he wasn't going to well, outbox him. Well, Ward you actually got, you gotta understand. Him. So who, uh, in a boxing point is perspective. Kovalev's footwork was actually really good at that point. He cut off that ring pretty well. He took a lot of things away from Ward that Ward usually does. Right. That's what you have to realize. Ward couldn't run as much because Kovalev was cutting off the ring well. So it's like Maybe he was you look at that. He yeah, was, but I you, agree either way, it's like you gotta look at what's happening though. So Ward was who, most effective jab was Kovalev's, even though Ward outpointed him with the jab, but. Right. Um, Kovalev's jab was way harder than Ward. No, I, I agree and, with that. I agree with that. And his straight that. punches. Yeah. Kovalev did control the distance. So you have to understand I think that. that. I, don't, I don't so much agree with that. I feel like, especially later on in the fight, so when you realize, started doing where, those where did Kovalev, started slipping. Where did Kovalev want the fight to be, though? What do you mean? I don't know where he wanted to be. He, he wanted he to want be. He wanted the fight at the end of his punches because right. he understood the ones and the twos were the going to be That's the, the, the factor. Well, yeah, that. we knew that. And the ones and the twos was the factor of the right, fight. Right, right. You look at the fight, Ward's face was all lumped up. Kovalev's face wasn't even lumped up. 
I mean, it's like I think he, that the he reason did some more damage that was because this I is what Kovalev really did. Kovalev, every time Ward got inside and started to take advantage of that distance inside, which really what we knew was going to be what he was going to. I felt like he was going to take control of the fight on the inside. Anytime he got on the inside and started working on the inside, Kovalev would grab him. Well, he would he do those six rolls. He would come Ko up and start working. Kovalev was grabbing him one just because Ward Ward grabs a lot in the inside. But that's and he already, wasn't already, initiating. I already told you this. Like so, Kovalev is a fighter who wants to keep it on the outside. Right. He's not going to let Ward come inside. Throw us a few punches, tie up, and then right. move on. Right. Because that's how Ward fights. Right. So what he did, he did his homework. Right. Every time Ward got in, he tied up Ward. He made the breath, break it up. Yeah, no, that's what I'm a, saying. Got to back out on yeah. the distance where he needed to be. I, I agree with that. That's, so all that's what I'm saying. saying. So in that perspective, Kovalev kept it where he wanted, not where Ward wanted. Yeah, I guess I agree with that. I guess I can agree with that. So I, I still feel like... Um, one, people who were saying that Ward was doing all this grabbing, that was a load. That was a load. I don't agree with that. I don't think that he was initiating nearly as much because I had heard, I didn't see the fight when it happened. I saw it later on. So I was really going off of what people were saying happened in the fight. So when I watched the fight and I was like, people were making it seem like he was doing nothing but running and grabbing. And that's absolutely not what it was. He did a, he, I will agree that he did do a lot of backing up not necessarily yes. running right it's not like you pulled a mcgregor or exactly anything, exactly but, but that's the way that he fights though yeah he, he wants to keep that distance he needs to stay outside of kovalev's we, we talked about this that danger zone is in that that like you said he wants to keep ward at the end of that jab mm -hmm. at the end of his strengths right and that's where he didn't want to be he either wanted to be inside or outside and that's what he was trying to do so even though it looked like he was running I think he was just trying to keep that distance. So, and but you gotta realize in professional fighting, mm -hmm. professional boxing, it, a lot of it is scoring based off. It's not just okay. Who? Let's see who can outsmart who. Right. That, yeah, that's the initial plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you gotta look at in boxing. A lot of the scoring is about who's the most effective fighter, right. who's doing the most damage with their punches, mm -hmm. whose punches are doing the most damage, and you know it's like. In all reality, too, if it's close fight, which it was a close fight, it was everyone could say fight. they would have been happy with the draw, right? You they would have been happy with this, right? But in a close fight, it always has to go back to the champion. I agree with that because with you that. gotta beat the champion to mm -hmm. take the champion. Yes, you gotta beat him. It needs yeah. to be Everybody especially he has three. Yes, I mean I was like he he showed he was the best yeah. fight heavyweight there is right now. Yeah. So Ward did a great job, right? But not enough to win the fight. No, I agree with that. So. I agree with that. I think that, I think that the scoring, nobody would have complained if the scoring would have been the other way around. Yeah. That, yeah. I feel like that's yeah. the way it should have been. It should, it should have been, been 14, yep. 13, Kovala. Mm -hmm. That's what I think it should have been. And I, I don't think that Ward would argue that. I don't think anybody could argue that. Mm -hmm. Because with that knockdown and the fact that he's a champ, he should have got that win. But I tell you what right now, judging on how that fight ended, when they have the rematch, and they will have the f***ing rematch, and it will be soon, it's not going to go the way they went. Well, it, I think it, that it, Ward is going to be ready. It's going to be another fight, too, because, you know, War, or Kovalev now understands he's going to have to win by knockout. Yes. So that's what's going to make the rematch interesting. Mm -hmm. um, like he said, it was, if the knockdown didn't happen, I could have seen maybe why they could have given Ward, because... He was more dominant in the second half of the fight, right. in the championship round. Right. Understanding that's mm -hmm. you know great, but because of the knockdown, yeah. you have to give it to the champion. You have to give it to him. Yeah. And even if to say if this was back in the day yeah. when it was 15 rounds yeah. and Kovalev or Ward won the last three rounds of the 15 rounds, right. he would have won the fight. Right. But this is 12 round fight. It's 12 round fight, and ultimately. I, I would agree that they should have gave Ward the fight if it wasn't for the belt. Yep. I don't think anybody could yep. argue it either way. Because yep. it was that close to the fight. The belt, or just, you know, it's like, it should have been a draw. Right, or a draw. Yeah. But it was but, so close mm -hmm. that, I mean, it could have been draw and it could have went either way. It was only one yeah. point. It was exactly. only one point. So I, I don't think that anybody could argue that if, it, if the belt was not up for grabs, I don't think that anybody could argue the outcome of this fight. But the fact that you've got the champ lost his belt, I was yeah. kind of bullshit. I, and I looked at the scoring too. I, I didn't agree with the scoring right. because they had like 
Kovalev obviously won winning only four rounds. Right. I'm like, that close to a fight, everyone saw some rounds Kovalev won right. for sure. Right. I would have given it, if I was scoring the fight, seven rounds to five. Right. And that's how I scored it, I mm -hmm. plus the knockdown, so he would have won by two points. Right. You know, I didn't agree with the Letterman card. The Letterman card was bullshit. I didn't even look at the Letterman card. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The Letterman card had, had Kovalev up by, I think, was it eight, the two? first seven well, you rounds. You could still see it, like, you could, you know, Letterman, obviously, he has a lot. Of, there's a lot of scoring cards. But I see why he would give those rounds. When it, it's a close round mm -hmm. and it's a championship fight, right. you yeah, have to give it, it to the champ. champ. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I get it. He, that's old school way of thinking. Right. Mm -hmm. So you can't be all mad like, oh, well, that's a bunch of bull crap. Right. It's just, you know, it's old school. It's like, right. okay, if it's a close fight, okay, give and the champ. champion's still showing that he's the champ, mm -hmm. you have to give it to the champ. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with that. I don't, I mean, I don't, I'm not, I'm not like ridiculous, like, oh my God, this fight was what, but yeah. absolutely, but Kovalev should have won that fight. It, it's great though, because now boxing has another fight yes. between them two, which mm -hmm. is going to help boxing. And it's going to be good. It's yeah, gonna be and good it, fight. it's going to be a great fight because yeah. Ward's going to make his adjustment. Mm -hmm. And we'll Kovalev's see if going to make his adjustments. Yep. And we're going to see if um, Kovalev comes out a little more. I, I think he's going to come out more aggressive. Mm -hmm. if that, I don't know if that's going to be good for Ward. His problem is. Yeah. Uh, well, because we know now Ward could get dropped and yes. Ward could get knocked out by right. Kovalev. Mm -hmm. I mean, this but is the Ward first. Ward is very resilient. I mean, we saw that. Yeah. He was resilient. He took that shot um, and he got back up and, I mean, he made a, a good fight of it. Yeah. So it wasn't like he was just trying to survive. Yeah. Even he later in the, in the second half, he was still getting hit with good shots, but I think that after all the body shots that uh, Ward gave Kovalev, that I think he was less scared of his punches. Right. Because he was taking more chances. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was getting hit more. You can see that aggression. And yeah. what you could also see is that, you know, as the fight goes long, longer, you know, the punches, the steam of the punches are mm -hmm. going to be less. Yeah. So, you know, it's like Kovalev, you know, has to work on his condition a mm -hmm. little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, because if he would have kept landing those big shots, who knows? He could have probably finished probably Kovalev put him or put out yeah. Ward, Ward. Yep. you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but so, let's see if he does that adjustment yeah. too. Let's as well. see what happens. I, I think yeah. it's going to be good. Whenever that fight's going to happen, I'm going to watch some more interviews. And uh, I haven't really heard much talks about it since the fight was just you know, yeah. Last but, week, but a lot of like it's it's kind of crazy because a lot of majority of boxers and boxing experts gave the fight to Kovalev. Right. Like, you know, Roy Jones. Rightfully so. You know. Yeah, uh, I, so, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I mean, even with this, even with the second half rally, I don't think it was enough. I don't think it was enough. Left. No. Yeah. So, so this is going to be good. Um, we'll listen to some fight talks, see when the next fight schedule to come up. And uh, we'll watch it. We'll be ha back here with you guys. Hey, this has been Big Hurt. TJ, Chris here at Boxing Inc. University. Big Hurt TV. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to have any more conversations, you got any questions, any videos for you want us to make, go ahead and put it in the comments below. And give us a like, give us a subscribe, keep coming. Keep putting to sleep. Peace. I've never done that God to anybody. Honestly, I think the second fight would be a lot worse because I, you know, I've been here with him. I know what he had. And I honestly just know, disrespect to him, I don't know how many adjustments he can make. His style is kind of set. Um, but we're going to entertain you know, all offers and we'll see what the best, the best decision to make.